Hey everybody, and we're back in Fallout New Vegas on the Nevada Wasteland for another episode of the Danny Glover Saga. And here he is, our man, Danny Glover, looking freaky as always. God, look at him. Oh. Anyway, today we've got a few things to do. First of all, we're going to talk to Sonny here. Hey Sonny, we're going to talk to you in just a minute. Um, we're also going to get a better gun and some armour so we can go out in the wasteland and shoot some motherfuckers. Uh, because, oh god, we've got just not good enough weapons. I mean, this pistol... Uh, it's it's all right, but it's just not going to do the job. And the, I'm out of ammo for the submachine gun, so we need to do that. Uh, but armor is probably a a, uh, a big need right now. Uh, not only just to protect us, but to get out of this stupid bloody vault suit because it just it just looks awful. It really does. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, let's put the gun away. It's probably not great. I apologise in advance if I uh, sniff and sniffle a little bit um, in this video. It's summer. It's hay fever season, and I can't for the life of me find my bloody medicine anywhere. So great. I'll keep looking for that. Um, but for now, uh, sorry in advance. Okay, right. So that's out of the way. You're looking to be very funny for. Hi, Sunny Smiles. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer. Uh, I might be. Um, that's what we wanted to say. I am going to help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers. Uh, I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> uh, oh, bloody hell, that's actually the first option. That, that was easy. <laughs> Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Well, the armor sounds good, and we're probably going to need the others, I guess. So, uh... Well, that is all optional, but I suppose we'll just, just do it. Uh, all right. Um, I was just funny. Let me just ask you this as well. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Uh, okay. I think I think I'm making locks with. Too much for you to handle. Reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. Sure. And the bobby pins? You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Put too much pressure on them, and they'll snap. I don't actually know how to pick locks, so we're all right, but I, I thought I'd best ask. All right, I'll go take a look at that safe when I have a chance. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. All right, let's, uh, goodbye. I'll be waiting. I'm sure you will. Okay, yeah, so we're going to want some leather armor, and Trudy's right here, so maybe we could get her on our side straight away. Hello. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? Sure are. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Um, you could be able to take me down, Powder Gang. Bullet explosions, lots of fun. Yes, lots of fun or sneaking. I could probably take out the Powder Gang by surprise if I had help. Probably. Uh, no, but uh, bullets and explosions and lots of fun sounds way better. I was planning on sitting this one out. But for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Well, I Let like me have you too, with Trudy. Other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. <laughs> oh, dear. This is oh, horrible, horrible, horrible. I hate hay fever. Uh, sure. Uh, so, yeah, we don't need to do anything else here. Be careful out there. You go and do that bit. Uh, I need to go and talk to the dock and go into the general store. Uh, this. Why is this? There's no door on this room, is there? What's the. Uh, uh, very easy door to. Sure, let's pick this lock. I mean, nobody can. Oh, wait, no, no. Yeah, no, no. Oh, I'm hidden. See, good, hidden. Right, now if I. 
Oh, it's going to tell me how to do it anyway, which is good because I do remember, but oh, it's been a while. Alright, E, pull, mouse, rotate the bobby pin, force a lot, and talk to players, yeah, yeah, it's just like everything else that they do. Sure. Um, oops. I, I, I broke the lock. Now I can't unpick it at all. That was the wrong button to press. Crap. Oh well. Uh, for all of my uh, reading instructions, that didn't help much because I just pressed the wrong sodding button. Okay, so store. Well, that's the that's the schoolhouse up there. I'm guessing. I'm not heading over there yet. That's the gas station. Oh, the store's right here. Good Springs General Store. The fucking huge sign should have given me an indication, really. Um, there's no. I can't. Really, oh, it's a couple of sunset asperillas. Oh, I lost karma. I'm sure I have. Right. I have a feeling I'm going to be losing a lot of karma, to be honest. Uh, stealing stuff is uh, is fun. Hold on, roller skate and dandy boy app. All oh, right. Okay. Uh, there's lots of stuff here that I'd love to steal, but it's like right in front of this guy, so that's just not going to happen right now, is it? Hi, Chet. The one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Sure. Um, that's. I do want to see what you have for sale, but I need supplies to fight the powder gangers. That's why now I'm here. Just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Oh, splattering doesn't sound. All right, let's try it anyway. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. You bastard. Uh, but I need those supplies. <laughs> yeah, what makes the surplus ammo inferior anyway? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Okay, well that told me what I needed to know. Uh Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor piercing bullets which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Okay, well that's good to know. Um what do you know about the situation with the powder gangers? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. Town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Well, screw you, Chet. You know what? You're an asshole. We're all trying to help out this poor guy. Uh, not that I actually give a crap about this poor guy, of course. It's just, you know, best to keep the town on my side. I might get something out of it. And you're just saying, hand the, the fucker over. Right, well. Um, I suppose I'll see what you got for sale, but... You know, I'm not. I'm not holding out much hope. I'll take all these, right? Because I do need. I do need ammo. Um, yeah. Nice. Thanks, me you bastard. Take it easy now. Well, I won't be coming back here anytime soon. The service sucks. Douchebag. Okay, so that was a complete flop. Let's talk to... Uh, oh, he sells armour as well, doesn't he? Oh, I can't afford armour at the moment. The dock. Now, the dock. Oh, bollocks if I can remember where the dock is. Uh, let's go have a little look. Was the dock's house up here? I I can't remember. Oh, God, this is this ugly fucking thing again, isn't it? Get, get off of me! Oh, I'm sorely tempted to put a bullet through your brain, you ugly bastard. What's in the mailbox? A cherry bomb, a coffee mug, a tire iron, and a wonder glue. Cherry bomb sounds fun. The rest of that shit, I don't really need. Uh, so, remind me again, though, which was, which was Doc's house? Local map. It's gas station. Uh, oh. Doc Mitchell's house, there. I'll straight ahead, pass this one, and carry on going. Fair enough. 
throw it straight ahead past this one and carry on going past this one as well I guess because that doesn't appear to be open oh I remember this is the guy that farms stuff uh, I stole all his all his food uh, yeah so you're Oh, I guess this was wasn't the school. It was Doc's house. What the hell? Is that, is that battery? Oh, okay. Oh, that's not important. I guess. Doc. Uh, Doc, I'm I'm back. Uh, hello. What are you about? Doc. Doc, what's in his dresser? Oh, some casual wear. Oh, let's have a look at that then, I guess. But uh, sure, why not? Uh, items, apparel. I've got goggles, haven't I? Oh, I was so putting the goggles on. Uh, I've got a wasteland settler outfit or some casual wear. Oh, I think the casual wear. Um. Yeah, let's try the casual wear. Does this jumpsuit? It doesn't have any. No, it doesn't have any damage ratings, right? Okay. So what do I look like now then? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool. I like. That's. Uh, it's entirely appropriate. I'm sure. Oh, oh, there you are. Oh shit! You scared the crap out of me, Doc. What the hell are you doing? Welcome back. See me again so soon. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm not hurt. I don't need medical support. Ah, the town's going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Uh, yeah, I think it's the only one that's going to uh, Seems like be relevant. I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Well, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Three stim packs, great. You actually had quite a lot of stuff, Doc, but I, I in uh, previously looted it all. So yeah, sorry about that. Did I ask you? Did I ask you this already? Well, we'll just see. I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Right. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. Yeah, I already asked Trudy. Uh, you don't really have much interest in say, do you? No, right, okay. Well, see, look, you had loads of supplies in these boxes and I took it all, but... So, so let's have a just check the data, quests. Um, right, so optional. Oh, I need to go to Easy Pete. Uh, I need to convince Chet to open his store's stock to the town. That's not turned out so well so far, has it? Um, I've got medical supplies from Doc. I've got Trudy. I've got Sunny. I need to go to Ringo and tell him that uh, Sunny's going to help him. Uh, I think he likes her. I think she probably likes him as well. Convince Chet. Okay, well, can I have one more try of convincing Chet? Because I actually wouldn't mind some of them to my armour. Uh, I'm not feeling uh, the sneaky sneaky around here, to be honest. I have a feeling uh, I'm going to be going out full out, in your face, guns blazing, uh, style E. So I'm going to definitely need armour and some good guns. Chet, I need to talk to you again. I don't like you already, but I don't have much choice. I do need these supplies. Again, like I said. I'm against taking on the powder gamers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. Uh, I could try that again, but... Right. Just keep me I just don't it. have the barter to do it. Else? You're an arsehole. That's what. That's what else. But let me see if I've got some, some armor. Uh, armor, armor, armor. What you got? No rounds. Box Ching, ching, eh, eh, large bird, leather pistol, leather armor, leather armor. 
Uh, oh, it's in fantastic condition. Oh, in it. That's long fused on. No, wait. Oh, shit. What did I just? What did I just buy? Oh, uh, a laser pistol. I, I didn't want a laser pistol. Leather armor. That's what I wanted. I've already got a laser pistol, haven't I? Yeah. It's not very good condition, though. It's got to be said. Uh, what's your? All right. Look, I will buy that as well. I'm spending all my fucking cats with this guy. Right, sure. Pleasure doing business with you. It's it's really not. Take it easy now. I'm gonna have to do something about my barter skill so I can convince this guy to help. Have I got um items aid? Were they in aid? No, I have nothing to help uh with my barter skill, which is just just you know what? Screw you. Uh, we'll just go without it. I'll just go and tell Ringo that Chet's a douchebag and he's not going to help, but everybody else is is well up for it. I suppose I could um, equip this leather armor actually instead of uh, my. I did like the casual wear, that was nice, but. Uh, what can we do? Laser pistol. Repair that with another laser pistol, and it's a bit better. Um, that's pretty cool actually but I'm not an energy weapons person really however oh wow look at oh that's quite cool I like alright we, we can go with that oh, God, look at his eyes <laughs> oh my god look at that fucking hell Danny what do you look like jeez alright <laughs> Oh my god, those goggles! Right. Hey, Ringo! Uh, yeah, there was also a safe in here, wasn't there? Yeah, there was that, just that one safe. There's nothing else I can, can open, I don't think. No, it was just that, just that safe, which... I would need a lockpick of 25 to do that. And my lockpick is... 22. Ugh. Very close. Uh, I can probably... Yeah, okay. So aid... Uh, locksmith reader. Let's open this up. Alright, so we don't press F. That's what we don't do, is press F. Um... Oh, close. There we go. Oh, oh my god, look at all this shit. Pistols and round beer bottle caps. Oh, oh I'm taking all of that. Uh, uh, oh, oh, these are these would be considered stealing. Uh are these are these your bullets? Alright. I won't take those uh, for now. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Uh, no, I've done everything, I think. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Uh, how many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Okay, let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Sure. Everyone, that's it. Go, go, Ringo, go. Yay, go, Ringo. There we go. Oh, now I'll join you. I'm coming. I'm coming. I wasn't stealing all your shit or anything, honest. Uh, I'll follow these guys. Oh, you got a gun. That's fantastic. Good Spring Settler. Hello, Good Spring Settler. Come on. You got a gun. Let's go. And there's Trudy. She's got a gun. Uh, another Good Spring Settler. Hello. Can... Oh, oh, it's on. Oh, it's on. Holy, here they all come. Oh, great. I'm right in the middle of it. 
what we got here? Uh, left and right. Oh, sorry, left and right. Let's just take out his legs. Right, that should slow him down considerably. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm not so... Alpha! Alpha! How are his shots all missing? Got him. Headshot. Right, uh... What the... What's going on? What the hell was that? Oh, you're down as well. Oh, that was Joe Cobb. Oh, right. You have established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody. And people associated with the group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland and you can develop a distinct reputation with each one. As you perform actions that benefit a group, you will gain fame. If you perform actions that harm a group, you will gain infamy. Your reputation with any given group is a measure of the combined total of fame and infamy that you have earned. The benefits and drawbacks of any given reputation depend on the group itself. You may receive discounts from merchants, provoke attacks from hired thugs, or simply be treated differently. Sure. Right. Enough of your news of your good works has been passed around that people like you in Good Springs. Thank you. Read it. Oh, I've left a well, I've, I've uh, left a poor impression on the Powder Gangers community and maybe shunned her as a result. Sure. Well, I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Well, thank you. Uh... Yeah. Oh, uh, do I? Right. Uh, didn't I hear something? You say something about it not being to pay me? I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though. So look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Sure. So you're not going to hang around here. But what about Sunny? She likes you. Wow. Okay. Let's strip these bodies. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's got good armor. And a revolver, bottle caps. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Taking all of that. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm taking all of that as well. Dynamites. Oh, I didn't go to see the dynamite guy. Oh, well. Guess we didn't need to in the end. Uh, there's. Where are the. Who have we got here? Uh, a powder ganger, a dead powder ganger. Take all of that. Another dead powder ganger, not wearing much, wearing even less now. Uh, and another dead powder ganger. Take all that. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's the guy I shot over here. Uh, oh, Settler died. Oh, poor guy. Oh, dude. Um, you all right? That you, you, you're up. You're, you're standing. You're not, you're not really... He's not dead, everybody, honestly. We'll just... Just put him in... There. Sure, that's fine. No one even realised he's died. Let's hope we could... Buffalo Gourd? Oh, why not? Look at this guy. <laughs> what the hell are these people like? Alright, come on, take everything you've got as well. Great, so that's a great haul out of that. Um, we're going to have to do something about these bodies. Can't leave them uh, just lying around the place now, can we? That wouldn't be... That wouldn't be right. Oh god, they're heavy. I forget that bodies are heavy. Um, I shouldn't really forget that, but I do. So, in you go. Uh, there we go. That's one. I'll deal with the rest later, honestly. Um, Jesus, have we, been, have we been playing this long already? Shit. Well, there we go. It actually did something and, you know, came away with my objectives. Uh, I've got some better guns, I think. I haven't really gone through it all. I've got some better armour. I have armour and better armour. Uh, we fought the Powder Gangers. We helped out Ringo. Um... That's actually quite successful. It's getting dark now. 
so it's probably a good time to call it uh, so yeah I think we'll, we'll say this is the end of it, the episode ECP you're the one I had the dynamite oh right yeah I've forgotten about you you weird old man alright so we'll put the gun away anyway so yeah Oh, it's actually a tumbling. T That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. Uh, Trudy, we did it. We did it, Trudy. Uh, oh, she doesn't. She doesn't seem to care much. Fine. Uh, thanks everybody uh, for watching. Make sure to uh, to hit that to that like uh, and uh, subscribe if you're not already. And um, if your uh, family or friends uh, aren't subscribed, and and then make sure to tell them as well. Um, especially if they like Fallout. I mean, who the hell doesn't like Fallout? Honestly. Uh, so yeah, I will see you all. Um, well, say I, me, and Danny will see you all for the next episode um, very soon. But until then, goodbye and uh, take care. <laughs>